Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet Channel. Thank you very much for tuning in for a video about, well, mostly this here camera, the new Roncam 5 Orange. And what you see here is the Roncam 5 Black. <laughs> the old version, the 2019 uh, version, the outgoing model. And uh, so, yeah, this will probably be a somewhat uninteresting video. <laughs> yeah, I've, I have warned you, right? This will be an uninteresting <laughs> video. Okay, yeah, so I got me a question from uh, several people actually. Uh, more than uh, several, uh, quite a lot of people wanting me to do a side-by-side -side of the stabilization or electronic image stabilization of the new Runcam 5 Orange. That's a new feature of this camera and so yeah, uh, what does it do? Well, it should <laughs> in theory stabilize your uh, footage. And to that I should add that this, these, both of these cameras are intended for FPV use, right? They are designed, made to be strapped to your quadcopter. They aren't your typical action camera, basically. They are not really action cameras per se. You wouldn't be taking these on holiday for your holiday snaps. You could, but that's not what they're made for. And with that, the image stabilization of this new Roncam 5 Orange isn't gimbal-like. Some cameras, such as this one, the GoPros, do have quite elaborate image stabilization, very useful. So the image stabilization of this Roncam 5 Orange isn't meant to be that strong, if you will. However, like I said, uh, a lot of people ask me to do a side-by-side, -side, so here it is. On your left you see the image from the Runcam 5 Black without image stabilization. And yes, you can run this uh, new orange version without image stabilization switched on. And to be completely honest, I don't see a whole lot of difference. Now maybe there's not supposed to be a whole lot of difference. It should maybe just uh, even out the, the bumps right in an uh, FPV flight. Yeah, so have a look. And one of the things I was interested in is uh, whether this feature limits the field of view or crops the image. A lot of image stabilizers uh, do that. So what you see here is the entire image vertically. Let me actually uh, zoom out a little so you can actually see that you uh, see the entire image vertically, so from top, top to bottom. And vertically, I don't think there's any cropping. In other words, you see the exact same amount of pixels or lines vertically. Right, so that was definitely something I wanted to know. And then horizontally, so uh, yeah, that was some impressive video editing, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so here are both video images uh, entirely and I've scaled them down vertically as you can tell. So basically you see everything in height and width from both cameras. And I think it's safe to say that there is no cropping at all. Also from this part of the video you will more easily be able to see what the EIS actually does. There's definitely a difference between no stabilization and stabilization. You will have to look closely, but it's, it, it's there, if you will. It doesn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, that would be really awkward, <laughs> wouldn't it? So the feature definitely does do something. And if you strap this uh, camera to a quadcopter, it will even out your footage a little. It's not a magic cure for a badly tuned quadcopter either. But yeah, it will help you out a little. I guess. So, I am for one happy that it, at least it doesn't crop the image. That would be really awkward again. So, I'll just uh, leave you uh, to it. I, I've got some uh, walking around footage as well. You see for yourself. And again, a lot of people ask me for uh, this side by side. So, here it is. You tell me what you think. And there's also a full review of the Runcam 5 Orange coming up on my channel. Be on the lookout for that. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. Helps me out. Thank you very much. Bye bye.